All right, welcome back, everyone, to Bayou Time. I'm Martin Faust, and we are joined by Lieutenant Clint Dempster from the Thibodeau Police Department. And, Lieutenant, good to see you, and how are you today, sir? Great. Thanks for having me, Martin. Anytime. Let's talk about this. We've, we've talked about this with every agency before, and it just seems like no matter how much we, we put it out, there's always a pedestrian killed in a crash, and I know now with cell phones and everything else, it's very, very hard to control a lot of things, distract the drivers and all. But can you give me a little information on, on what y'all are finding out with y'all pedestrian fatality? Yeah, so um, th this the pedestrian fatality happened on a Saturday night. Um, it was a, an a investigation revealed that it was a subject who was trying to cross the roadway uh, with a walker and he was struck by a vehicle that was traveling northbound on Canal Boulevard near the intersection of School Street. Um, it's an unfortunate uh, accident. Um, there was no signs of impairment or anything on the driver, but of course we had to go through routine um, testing and whatnot, uh, which later you know, confirmed that you know, the, the subject was not intoxicated um, in any way, the driver. Um, the, of course, the, the, it's still in the investigation. Um, the victim, of course, uh, standard toxicology is going to be done at the coroner's office, um, and we're just going to wait for the for the results from that. But uh, just just seemed to be a a, a, a freak accident, and it's very unfortunate uh, for both parties involved. Lieutenant, let me ask you because normally we're talking about six p.m. Normally, in that time frame, pretty bright, you can still see everything, but now. Is getting dark faster. So, did this have anything to do with it? Um, I I, I can't confirm or deny that. Um, I will say that you know, just stress the importance of um, just drivers paying attention, especially now that um, it is getting dark earlier. Um, people are used to you know being outside doing outside activities. Uh, those things didn't change. We're still going to be outside. Um, you know going to ball games and all these different things, even though the time changed, those things don't change. So we're still going to be out there. There's a whole lot more activity that's going to be going on during the nighttime hours just because of the time change. So just stress the importance to drivers. Just pay attention. You know, like you said, stay off of devices. Um, make sure your headlights are on for those older vehicles, you know, that may not have automatic lights. You know, just make sure that they come on. Um, and just pay attention to your surroundings. And, and again, same thing for pedestrians and uh, bicyclists and in, in, any any other um, any other uh, means of transportation that's used. We just we'd like to stress that to to those people. Just pay attention. Um, try to get to the areas that's well lit whenever you're crossing the uh, uh, any any roadways, specifically the major highways, and uh, try to use crosswalks as much as you can. You know, we're assuming that when we're crossing a street. Same thing in Homer here. They have a lot of curves in downtown Homer. So when you start to walk, somebody can come around that curb. We're assuming that they see us. I think most pedestrians should assume that they don't see you, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And look, I'm going to tell you, it's uh, it, you can never have enough lighting and uh, uh, fl uh, fl reflectors of some sort on your, on your, on your person, on, on your in this case, the walker or uh, scooters or bicycles or, or anything of that sort, um, just to help, you know, help the, the motorists see you well in advance where they can, you know, take the necessary, you know, action as far as for getting to the outside lane or the inside lane to get away from you, um, anything of that sort. Yeah, let's talk about the Click It or Ticket campaign during the Thanksgiving holidays. Yes, sir. So this is a grant that we do every year. We're fortunate to continue getting it through the Louisiana Highway Safety Commission. Um, it, it, it's it, we do uh, uh, unfortunately produce a lot of numbers around the holidays. Um, that's an unfortunate thing. Um, it allows us to continue getting the grant, um, but we wish we wouldn't get as many numbers as we do. But it's something that we do the year round. We do it uh, around the thanks. We normally send it around the Thanksgiving holidays, the Christmas holidays. Um, and, and, and of course, whenever we get into the, the 2024 year, we do the same thing around the major holidays there. So um, and it helps us enforce uh, seatbelt, occupant protection, um, as well as uh, DWI enforcement um, and things of that such. So we that'll just, start you know, on the 18th and go through the 25th, right? 
And it'll, it'll start on the 18th and go through the 25th. Um, they will have a lot of extra personnel out working this grant. So we just, you know, with the holiday coming up, we really want to stress to the to the motorists out there and our, and our citizens, you know, the importance of not drinking and driving. You know, finding a designated driver is just not worth it. Let me ask you, the, Lieutenant, the uh, saturation patrols. Is that what we're talking about with the uh, with the the grant money, or is that a separate thing? No. So um, sat, the saturation patrols uh, underneath that grant specifically, absolutely, it's, it's through the grant. Um, it's completely separate than our normal uh, patrols and, and, and normal uh, on-shift personnel. So you're still going to have all those regular guys out, and then in addition, we're going to have all these separate guys out. Wow. So, yeah, so that uh... – and not only that, it, it, it gives you guys a chance to make a little extra money. And holidays are coming around. But, of course, I know they'd rather be with their families. But those those grants do help police departments out, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, it's a tremendous help. Um, like I said, we're fortunate. Um, but, uh, but, of course, with those grants, it comes, you, you have to produce numbers. And, um, like I said, unfortunately, we, we've had a history of producing numbers when it comes to DWIs and um, occupant uh, protection inside the city limits of Thibodeau. So, um, like I said, it, 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 the, the numbers allow us to, to continue growing and getting those grants, but the unfortunate part is it just shows you how, how many DWIs and um, CBOs that we, we, that we enforce inside the city limits. All right, that wraps it up with Lieutenant Clint Dempster. Give a shout out to the chief. He's coming in back at work. We appreciate it. Clint, thank you so much. Thank you, Martin. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go away.